an AI agent actually replace a technical co-founder? In this video, we test a full stack AI developer to see if we can build a small MVP. Wow. <laughs> there he just goes coding. It's like you're watching a team do like live coding. You just, yep, yeah, that's about right. By the end of this video, you will know if an AI truly can replace a technical co-founder. And this is truly no code. Although I'm the founder of Vino, the world's largest wine app and community with 70 million users all over the world, I never wrote one line of code for Vino. So this is AI and no code, no cheating. And this is not just some small tool that builds a form. This is a full stack developer that puts it all together. We are about to build a prototype or like a small MVP. Let's get started. Okay, so what are we gonna build? I have a simple idea for a web app. In this house, we're kind of obsessed by kebabs. We love them kebabs. This one time not that long ago, we actually visited 15 different kebab places to find the best one. Built a massive spreadsheet so we can rate it from all directions. We needed to find the best kebab place. I mean, we're pretty serious about kebabs here. How about building a simple web app where you can look up and rate local kebab places? We'll keep it simple and it shouldn't be too complicated. I mean, this could be a simple MVP for a startup, right? Yep, let's build that kebab guide. Okay, we're using a tool called Revlet. They just released the beta version of their full stack AI agent. Basically, it works like a chat GPT. You chat with it, tell it what to build, and it will build it for you. Pretty simple. Good, let's start building. I started by putting a little bit of text together that says what we're building. There we go. Replit.com, start building. Replit is thinking. Let me propose what we'll build for you. Okay, this is a team come. Here we go. If I like all this, it's just gonna start building. Wow. <laughs> there he just goes coding. It's like you're watching a team do like live coding. You just, yep, yeah, that's about right. I mean, this is pretty magical, right? Yep, pretty magical, I must say. It is wild to see how just codes and codes at the speed of lightning. Imagine humans doing this. Even if they're fast, it's gonna take a while. Wow. Something's happening. Fast food raider. Okay, definitely making progress here. Let me, I think it needs to, I'm gonna zoom into where I'm at right now. Okay, I'm gonna get back to, I don't see. Okay, just give me feedback, like you would with a human developer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> definitely working with the data. Amazing. We got data. You can actually rate. Can I? Hmm. Actually, it doesn't look like we can rate just yet. Data comes from OpenStreetMaps, which apparently is starting to have really good data. So as we do this, I'm going to and a little bit of data on the OpenStreetMaps. Now just some quick research on OpenStreetMap to see how the kebab places usually are categorized. Also note that the data is probably very far from perfect. This place is called Silas, which I know is a kebab place. Cuisine kebab. Okay. Now let's narrow it down. This is fast, really fast. Oh, here we go. Wow, incredible. Okay, here we go. Looks like we have most of the kebab places now. I'm not sure we have all the kebab places here, but we have most. Okay, now let's go to rating. Now we do want to rate too, right? So I might have to make a user. Yeah, actually nothing happens when I click that thing. Looks like it's, you know, dead. That looks good. But when I click register, to register a user, nothing happens. Register again. Yes, but nothing happens when I click the register button. Again, the cool thing is it doesn't give you the same answer as last time. Yeah, let's try it. Oops. Yeah, this is not going well. I think we're going downhill. Okay, can you try and register a new user? It says specifically live in other works. Oh, Jesus. Okay, looks like. Click register. Invalid form data. No, if something's wrong, tell me. Jesus, <laughs> seriously. Oh, wow. 
Okay, I'm not going to lie. This is a little bit cool. The AI doesn't trust I can figure out what to put in the form. So it tells me, put this in the form, this exact thing. Because, yeah, it doesn't really trust me, does it? I mean, we might call it idiot proof. I'm sure the AI will call it like human proof. It's telling me, use this data to register. Okay, AI, let's see. And Erica, please try again. Give me a break. Yeah, I know it's getting a little bit frustrating, I must say. Go. Oh my God. Same thing. I'm not sure it's going to be able to do it. I mean, the concern is that you start going into circles, right? And that's what it feels like now. Yeah, this feels like we're moving in circles here, not really moving forward. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's try again. I mean, at least give me new errors. Same thing. Else next time and say something else to it. All fingers crossed. Same. Oops. And then it starts losing features that we already built. This filter suddenly disappeared. And that just feels a little bit concerning. You know, what else it has forgotten? So worried about that. Look at the data now. <laughs> it forgot about the uh narrowing down to kebab shops now it shows all the fast food shops again it's quite interesting huh okay doesn't work so yeah four questions all negative nothing works hmm and then i say four things are broken it says yeah i'll fix the one thing that i broke okay we got the map back on it's interesting it feels like it's going in circles now. Yeah. I crashed the AI. It feels like there's a missing feedback loop. I know it takes screenshots all the time, but it doesn't really see what's happening. Could be the beta version. Maybe it's fine, but right now it's like a missing feedback loop. I mean, sometimes you work with developers that, shall I say, don't test well. It's annoying. This does feel a little bit like that. Oh, my God. You know, it's back to the old data again. Wow. What the hell? Yeah, looks like we hit a wall here. I can't get it to create a user. And now it says I'm out of time. You hit the usage limit for Ripple Agent. It will reset again. What the hell? Yeah, looks like my AI co-founder just fired me. Doesn't want to work with me, at least for the next month or so. So yeah, this feels like a real startup now. Co-founders can't agree. Yeah, this startup's going nowhere. Just to clarify, I spent around two hours inside the tool. I paid $25 for a month's usage. But I guess after a couple hours, I already hit the wall and said, yeah, you've spent too much time inside the tool. So a little bit strange now. Okay, so what's the conclusion here? This is an incredibly cool tool, but it's not there yet. You just hit the wall too often. That said, well done, Replit. This is incredibly complicated stuff. So well done on getting this far. You might just make it. However, there's a core problem with these kinds of tools. You can get the computer to do 90%, but you're missing the last 10%. You need a human for the last 10%. And that the problem with that is that if this tool can't do the last 10%, then it really isn't the full AI agent. If you still need a human to do the last 10%, it just isn't as useful. So that's a challenge with these, shall we say, full stack tools. Anyway, make sure you subscribe because I'm not done yet. I'm going to keep looking at these tools, see if this can actually happen in the future. And if you have ideas for what to build, let me know in the comments. Looks like the technical growth founder can't be replaced by any agent just yet. But the tech is moving fast and who knows what the future brings. Now stop watching, go build something.